I'm Yannick Garcia. I'm here with a celebrity, personality, and Tahiti Village spokeswoman, Tanya Roberts. Hi, Tanya. Oh, hi, Dramiana. How in Christ's name are you? I'm very excited today to learn more about your new jewelry line produced exclusively for QVC. That's right, everybody. I'm wearing uh, denim ear jewels that I made myself out of old jeans. They come in gold and white gold. They go with so many looks, and there's a lot of options, very versatile. Yes, I'm working out a way to put all my clothes back on my body in different ways. I may have worn this to an audition for Psycho 3, which I did not get. You're quite the showbiz lady. That's right, that's what I am. Oh fuck, someone's at my door. Oh, oh, oh that's fine. Who could that be? Oh, that's fine, yeah, we can cut. Okay, full disclosure, I'm here under false pretenses today. A few days ago, I came over for a Chardonnay lunch with Tanya, and when I got home, my signature brooch was missing from my blouse. I'm convinced Tanya took it. My mission today is to get my brooch back, but I can't get Tanya angry, so this is going to require a real delicate sleight of hand. Oh, she's back. Uh, hi, Tanya. Hi. Oh, uh, oh, Tanya, how'd you know? How'd you know? What, how did I know what? No, uh, this, oh. is, this is my greeting wand. Oh, oh. It was Ashley from the neighborhood. You know, everybody, I would never stab a child, but I like to stab at them. Now, Tanya, talking jewelry, I love earrings. And you know what I love more than earrings are brooches. Why? I'm really curious to hear more about your own uh, personal jewelry line. Jamie Lee Curtis once gave me a brooch. It was on the set of Perfect, a movie I was cut out of. She said, sorry, you're cut out of the movie. Have a brooch. Tanya, we are such old friends, and you know there is no judgment between us. Never, ever. I would never judge you. I would never place blame, and I'm quick to forgive. Thank you. Last night I threw up in my bed. These things do happen. Oh, I'll clean it up later. Hey, I've made dinner for us. Would you like dinner? Oh, okay, we're going to dinner. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Oh. Yay. This oh. is my famous enchilada full of nutrients, and it's Mexico's gold. I learned this recipe from Isai Morales. Very handsome actor. Oh, yeah, his armpits taste vegan. You know, stealing, it's not a big deal. What's a few pilfered items between friends? That's right, I stole Ricky Schroeder's virginity. Snatch. Now, I have an audition today oh. for a commercial for Oscar Mayer. Would you like to help me with it? Um, I took a few acting classes in college. I don't need any of that. All it is is there's a family and they're riding down the street. They're like enjoying their time. And I'm auditioning for the role of a dirty hippie. They're supposed to jump out and say, ah, and like scare them. This is exciting. Getting directed by a bona fide actress from all. And lights up. Oh. The audience is mad. Go. Oh, here we go. What a leisurely drive through the countryside. Ah. Mom, who's this strangely dressed woman? Does it say strangely dressed in there? I was ad-libbing. I took a little liberty with that. This is fun. I'm sorry, Tanya. I'm just very tightly wound right now. You know, a favorite brooch of mine just went missing. Oh, that's a shame. You know what? Villagers lost their homes in, in wildfires and acts of God. Where were you after our most recent Chardonnay lunch? Mm, over the toilet bowl, crying. You know, Tanya, if you, if you don't mind, actually, I was hoping to borrow some personal clothing items, maybe a little jewelry. Shop away. Take what you like. Mine is yours. If it's if the tag says CBS Radford on it, it probably is not my property, and you're probably not allowed to wear it. And I thank you. Why don't you stay here and just enjoy your dinner, and I'll just go look unsupervised. I think we're very close to solving the mystery. Yours has more olives than mine does. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wow, this is quite a pile of stuff you have here, Tanya. Okay, let's see. Finding a bunch of goodies? Whoa. Oh, hi, Tanya. What an array you have here. Oh, I got that glitter jacket from Mark Hamill. Oh, is that, is that <laughs> He's so? He's a cross-dresser. This is uh, Cindy Williams' shawl. She wore this when she was sad. Uh, this was from Deborah Harmon's collection. She was into Wicca. Oh, I see. She was a deep witch. This was on Thelma Houston's Christmas tree. She's dead. Oh, oh look. PlayStation DVDs. Oh, I didn't know you were a gamer. I'm not. I took these from the teenagers in the neighborhood. I realized they were they were awfully loud. They played them all night, all hours of the night. So I broke into their goddamn house. Who's laughing now, huh? Contra Adventure and Micromaniacs Racing. Here's a candle that I took from a street memorial. Tanya, it's very interesting to me that you've come into possession of this box of items that don't belong to you. That is interesting, isn't it? I found this on Linda Lavin while she was sleeping. We did a student film together. She didn't look like she was needing it. She woke up in her bra. Okay, Tanya, I'm just coming out with it. I believe you stole my brooch, and I want you to confess it. What are you talking about? I believe the term here is checkmate. You've been caught. What? It's quite simple, really. You had the motive, the alibi, and the means to steal my brooch. Now the only question is to find it. 
Oh, wow. I feel like I'm back on the set of Matlock when I played a secretary who was very upset because she was, what is in my hair? Oh, my God. Ew. That, that's my bros. You're a crook, a thief, and a no good liar. That's not news. But you can't deny that I just plucked this out of your auburn tresses. Well, I also can't deny that I've been pulled out of a car by the jaws of life. This is my highly prized and very expensive jewelry piece I purchased during my recent visit to Santa Fe. It looks like bugs. You know what? I have been wondering to myself for the last three days. I had this itch, and I felt like I probably just had ear psoriasis or something. And I was planning on going to It was just this ugly thing. This was in your hair all along? God, how tacky is this thing? Uh, can you imagine something like this? Now, now, hold on a minute. Is it true that this has been in your hair all along and you had no idea? I guess so. I, all I remember was we had a Chardonnay lunch. I went over the toilet. You tried to help me out. Minutes later, I found an itch in my hair, and then I don't know what else is happening. My brooch must have gotten tangled in your hair. Wow, you're a regular sleuth. I uh, thank you for that. I did learn all my sleuthing skills from Agatha Christie novels. Just call me Damiana Poirot. Murder on the European bus. Oh, I think that's on my Netflix watch instantly queue. Oh, great. Come over for Chardonnay, and we'll, we'll have a movie night. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Well, you heard it here. Mystery solved and friendship restored. This is Detective Damiana Garcia signing off. And I'm Sergeant Tanya Roberts. Bing, bang, boom. Denim, Mary, where? Oh, this one's not coming off. Oh, boy. Oh. I'm in a world of pain.